All right, let's do this. Tyler, you got me some books. So we are continuing our coverage of Punisher number 11. We're almost done. Or they, sorry, the Jason Aries. Uh, Jesus Jason Aries. Aaron. Did I say Aries? You said Jason Aries, but that's... Well, because I, I saw Zayez is his name. Also, um, Aries has been the villain throughout the yeah. whole thing, so it's not... So, Jason Aaron, Jesus Saiz, and, and Paul, Paul Azakita. Uh, Jinx, you owe me a coke. Good God, I hope that's how you pronounce his name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Where do you go to... Hey, you know what? Can we just say... Uh, what is Hollings... Hang on. I think Hollings color. Hollingsworth maybe. has been on the cover of every single one. He is the yeah, he's color the artist. So can we give a, a let's also make sure we mention him because we do you know what? That's true. I think we have, but uh since he's one of the four names on the cover, let's yeah, sure. We don't give I don't think you're right. I think we should give some colors some more. And the book that I bought later. today, uh one of the great things that makes Mike Allred a great artist is that his colorist is always his wife Laura. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's always, you know, if you see, it's L M all red yeah. and L all red. So, so um, Punisher number eleven yeah. um, picks up where it starts again with a flashback because by the end of Punisher ten, um, the rest of the Marvel universe is like, okay, now we got to deal with Frank Castle because he's defeated Ares, he's killed all these war, like he's killed all these people. These like pedophiles and 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 evil crime drug bosses lords and, and drug lords, sex traffickers and, and the worst people. Yeah, and yeah, so they show up, and that's where we kind of would start the present. But we start in the past with uh, Maria once again. She's at like a gun range, and there's a guy that kind of hits on her a little bit, and uh, she. <laughs> I love this too because th- it's funny that they kind of like. That Aaron kind of gives Maria her own, like, agency of being kind of badass, where she's like, Frank's taught me how to shoot. I know how to shoot. Because he's like, oh, your stance is off. And she's like, "Uh, I know how to shoot. And to, like, signal that she's not interested, she puts three rounds, and it was like one of them was center of mass, and one of them was, like, starting from the crotch up. And I was just like, that's funny. And But it was like, she's like, I didn't want to cheat. I I wasn't going to cheat, but it was nice to feel wanted. And, you know, it goes back to the, hey, let's go to the park. Because she's like, let's all go as a family. He's like, sure, let's go. And then we flash to the present, and that's when Doctor Strange has got, (coughs) he's got Frank tied up, and there's, like, red, like, goo. He's trying to get the beast out of him. Yes, he's trying to take the powers out of him. The red. Yeah. The the crap. Almost kind of looks like foam. Yeah. You know? It's poop. It's blood poop. Yeah. Poop blood. But they're like, hey, yeah, I'm trying to... Well, that's funny. Get out of this. And then they ask, like, Strange what he's doing, and then Strange explains it, and he's like, I'm... It's It's part brain surgery, part bomb disposal. If a bomb could obliterate the human soul, by all means, continue asking me questions. (laughs) Doctor Strange is fucking badass in these Yeah, he is. Um, But, oh, my God. So, Frank is breaking free from it, and he's resisting, and he's fighting him off. And Wolverine comes through, and he's like, you ninja-loving bastard. <laughs> Stabs. Frank catches the blade of it, Wolverine uh, in his hand. Through his hand. Turns his fist forwards and punches Wolverine's own claws into his face. And mm. it's like, fuck yeah. Like, you know why it works? Because it's a Punisher book. And if anybody has any complaints about that fight, be like, bro, it is the Punisher series. It's always like this. You know what I mean? My favorite. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> like right back in his own face. <laughs> but uh, this is my favorite part of the whole fight, though, is when Doctor or when Doctor Captain Doctor America. America shows up. <laughs> Doctor America. It's Captain Strange and Doctor America. Hey, it's um, Lily. So he's like Captain Castle, stand down, Marine. That's an order. Yeah. And it's like this beautiful. Like I fucking love the the callback to the third issue of its. It's a panel, a uh, close up on Cap, and he's saying this this war of yours is finished. And then you cut down to like a mid page splash, yeah. and it's Frank right before he lights the guy on fire. But it's just white and him wearing the Captain America mask, and it's almost like a mirror. Yeah. And it's like I fucking love that because for 
Frank Castle always has idolized Captain America. Oh, and the, Captain America fucking hates him because he's a psychopath. He, he doesn't hate him. He just he, he doesn't. He actually has a grudging respect for Frank what do you know? because no, I he, know, he's well, always the, had it. In this book, he says like, "I don't want to kill this guy." You know, I, I don't want to kill this soldier. I think he's just lost his way. Yeah. Anyway, but, um, no, but uh, he also the, I, doesn't like that he kills well, people. Uh, right, I know that, but he's got that kinship of being in the service. Yes, he's okay. a soldier. So, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So, but uh, here's the ironic thing: is that this book, this this series, is not necessarily meant to break the hold, uh, to, or to break um, the the point of what you know white supremacists and shit use the Punisher logo for and yeah. stuff. But it is to kind of say you're dumb, and. The irony is is when Captain America got killed back in the aughts or the late 90s, there was a whole Punisher series where he took on a uh, Captain America-themed armor. And it's this whole series where he goes and hunts down these fucking white supremacists in Texas oh my God. with this Captain America-fucking-themed armor. And he gets his ass kicked, actually. But... The irony is that this is during the time that all of these white supremacists start showing up with Punisher logos on their trucks. Yeah. And it's like, how did they miss the fucking point of that particular fucking series? Well, the fact that the whole character is a... Yeah, whatever. But there's there's but, one last thing. There's, there's a part in that series where um, uh, the Punisher goes to Washington, and uh, at that point, Bucky has taken on the mantle of Captain America, and he's got the armor... And the, and the pistol. Do you remember that at all? Mm-hmm. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you do. But um, he, he shows up, and they fight each other because he's like, you have no right to wear Captain America's colors. You're a murderer and da-da-da. And he's like, how about you, you know, motherfucker? Mm-hmm. I mean, sorry, you're, you're the fucking Winter Soldier, dude. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, pretty good battle. Pretty good beer. Pretty good beer. Um, so anyway, uh, so then we go back to another flashback in this fight because uh, Frank, gets away um or he gets we we see that moment with him and cap and then it's a flashback and we talk about maria who is just like um because in the last issue she was talking about how he went to executions at night he didn't have a second job he was just going to executions and so it's like there had been an execution in, in months but he was still slipping out at night so she got a private detective and he was like he went to frank's home yeah. And it kind of goes back into the backstory of the person being beat to death. And then the final panel of this page, you see a gun point of this uh, P.I.'s head. And he's just like, tell her I'm having an affair and don't ever follow me again. Yeah. And it's just like. Well, she's talking about how she how he, she hired a P.I. And- I, I've said that. Oh. Yeah. Well, I said that uh, the whole thing was because she said there wasn't an execution in months. And like, why was he slipping away? But um, sorry, <clears throat> I completely missed that. You were talking. About, um, yeah. But so then it go and then it cuts back because it talks about this. Essentially, is setting up them going to the park. This is the fatal time that they went to the park. Um, and we also start to see more of Maria's side of the story of seeing like, okay, we're seeing more and more that Maria. Maybe not have maybe wasn't in love with Frank anymore either, mm. and this is also because isn't it the last issue she finds uh, finds out or it, it's this issue she finds out about um, what he's done all this time that she's been dead? Because I'm pretty sure it's this issue. Yeah, but then we come back to the present and uh, Frank is trying to fly. He's just saying, I'm done. And he's trying to go back home to Maria because he, he I, sees I her reading, saying, come home. I was just reading what Dr. Dude, Strange says to him. But again, Dr. And Strange it's fucking classic, has dude. these brief. So he's flying away. But then you see these green briefcases and it says front. No, toward- it's their, their Claymore Mines. Oh, yeah. Claymore Mines yeah. front toward Frank. And yeah. It was funny. Just. Yeah. And then it's. Yeah. You should have come to me, Frank. Yeah, in the past few weeks, I've saved a dozen mothers from being torn apart while giving birth to. Babes, babes with horns. Not that part. The second part. Read it. Yeah, uh, as we Sluffed. speak, there's a 1,000 year old monastery in Poland where the flesh is sloughing off the faces of the benevolent monks, like their skulls are being boiled beneath their skin. Jeez, fucking Well, he's talking about the price. His... He's talking about the price 
of of the price of, of the, magic, of the magic that been, he's using. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. was always Jason Aaron. But it's just a crazy to... fucking like wow. I, I, we haven't. I don't know about you, but up to this point in the series, the first time I read it through, I'm not thinking about what the fuck How else much is going on. He's creating, I'm honestly yeah. at, up to this point. I know I, I still am kind of on Frank's side because he's trying to avenge his family and he is killing bad guys. Like he's, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's killing guys that honestly deserve but, it. Yeah. But, but as somebody who's in recovery from alcoholism, knowing that trauma creates a lot of that stuff and everything yeah. and, and whatnot, I also know that killing people is, is not the answer. It never has been, you know, yeah. there, it, there has to be some sort of a, um, I don't, I don't know, yeah. man. But, but up to this point, I'm on his side. At this point, it's when you start realizing, yeah. holy fuck, he's destroying not just what he wants to destroy. He's destroying all these other things, just yeah. like he destroyed his marriage. So yeah, when the power of the beast is unleashed upon the physical realm for one man's selfish ends, but you didn't ask me anything, Frank. So now you get to settle that tab all by yourself. And even in this moment, to remind you. That this was always a selfish endeavor. and This was always about Frank. He says, I have no idea what you're talking about. I just know my family has suffered enough. Yeah. Or has paid enough. Yeah. And it's like, again... What, what this, I just like seeing Doctor Strange swing a fucking axe at somebody, too. It's so there's a cool. couple of things about this book that I think about. And in and, and, and how people reacted to it. And Moon Knight's cool in this book. How I could see... There's a couple of criticisms that I just don't agree with and about this series. And I think some of it is like the idea that they like told Punisher fans F you and like destroyed the character and ruined the character. I don't think that's true at all. If you're a Punisher fan and you I, feel like this series destroyed or ruined the character, <laughs> then you're the exactly the fucking Punisher fan that Jason Aaron was writing it for. To say, Hey, fucking you're a bigot and a fucking asshole. And this guy was never supposed to be looked up to. He was never to. a hero. He was never supposed to be lionized, you stupid, stupid white people. And it's all white people. Sorry. It's... Sorry. It's, so, me, me. No, I'm just saying, no. somebody will listen to this and be like, well, don't even fucking tell me that anybody... <sighs> yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, the fight continues, and then it... It is a point where Frank keeps fighting and he, he sit, just has a flashback of Maria saying, don't come home again until you're done, pretty yeah. much. So he... He's basically just trying to get take, away from these cr- guys. This is, a, this is awesome. So I know where I belong, Captain, and I'm sorry. And then he takes like the flames of the beast and makes a sword and just slams it against Captain America's shield. And it's like a half-page splash. is really cool. And then we cut to Maria um, going... Did we, did we show Moon Knight... Yeah, he fought Moon Knight um, at some point, but what? What do you want to talk about Moon Knight for, man? He's here. <laughs> By the way, what a weird... He just, he, just says, he just says, like, hey, from one fist to another, just relax and let us kill your god for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool. Moon yeah. Knight's kind of a badass. Anyway. Yeah. I like the jokes. Because he's a fist of conchu. Fist of conchu. Um, Fishing so, with conchu. So then uh, we see... That the priestess is being like, uh, Maria's coming through to be like into the library. This is where she's going to start to find out about the truth. Uh, we also see the priestess like keel over in pain because mm. Frank is resisting the beast. Yeah. And he's still fighting with the sword. And then we get the flashback to the park where um, Maria is, this is where the day that she is killed, she is telling Frank she wants a divorce. Yeah. Which. I texted you because I read eleven and twelve back to back, and because I just I had to finish it, and I texted you after reading this issue with a mind blown emoji because I was just like, the fact that he snuck this in and put this in in the last second to last issue and play out this Frank and Maria story and really crystallize it in that moment of this is and he says it in the last issue this story is about uh, Jason Aaron himself in the epilogue says this this is a story about a desolation of a family a family that falls apart because of Frank's selfishness Frank Frank was only a husband when it was convenient for him 
He, and he could never fully commit. He was a husband and a, a father husband. because that's what he was supposed to do. He got a girl pregnant, had to marry her, and that's it. Uh, he and, and 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 to be really brutally honest, like there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff about the construct of marriage in this, and there are a lot of people in the in in the world who are are married and stay in marriages because that's what you do. That's the way they were raised. That's what their parents, you know, what have you. And and this is showing that Maria was strong enough to say, hey, I don't want this for my life. And 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 you know what? This is not good for me. So I'm going to leave. Yeah. And this is Frank telling us that he's always been a selfish piece of shit. So, and, and, and the minute that he became the Punisher or whatever the fuck you want to say it, the minute he did that... He completely blacked it out of his mind that she wanted a divorce or that there was anything wrong in their marriage. In his mind, moving forward as the Punisher, they had the perfect life together. Well, he, wanted death his, wish. What, he had his, his own Death Wish movie. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there was no thought in his mind, or he had he had blotted out that she was saying which, that she wanted that there was problems. Again, again, think about this because he. Again, I want to bring this back. I think on one hand, some people that really love the pun- like classic Punisher, I understand that you maybe be upset by this because you are it is really deconstructing Frank. But I want to also point it, point this out. Isn't it better that Jason Aaron took this and gave it some nuance and some mythology and some it changes Frank and makes him more compelling because this isn't just because Frank Castle's character is an archetype. He is fucking Death Wish. That's it. Frank Castle is Charles Bronson. His family was gunned down, so his revenge. You know what I mean? It's just a revenge fantasy. That's right. it. There's nothing more to that character. But, even, but what does he do after that? He keeps killing people. Keeps killing drug lords. But that, it stops. First of all, he shouldn't have killed those people in the first place. Hmm. Okay. But then you're also adding on the fact that like he keeps doing it. And this is what this story is trying to tell you. It's trying to say like he keeps doing it. He's a mass murderer. He's what's, not a good what's, person. What's even worse about all of this is that it is a message of how many men in our society push shit down. Frank Castle could have been helped with therapy when he was a kid at any time. But we raise our boys... To feel like showing weakness is wrong. We raise our our, our boys. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he was the prototypical yeah. like bad husband. You know, like he thinks he's a good husband because he provides and whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. But he's a bad husband because he doesn't. You know what he's, I mean? Again, he's, he's only there, there when he's it's as convenient. long as he brings home a paycheck. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't want to grow with his wife. Sometimes he doesn't want to be hang out. Right? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And and and. It is also a deconstruction of our shitty society that has shown guys and men that it is wrong to ask for help or that it is wrong to say, hey, hey, sweetie, I know that you think something's wrong, but when I was fucking eight, I saw this mobster beat the shit, beat two people to death. And then I killed him by setting him on fire. Right? Because that's not what you tell your wife. You called that in. That's You're the man. You got to, yeah. you know, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, and by the way, I went to war and killed a bunch of people. Yeah. And I miss it. Um, when my husband... So this is a, I, this is a beautiful shot. It's a single-page splash after, after Maria sees her death, sees the origins of the Punisher, and then we see, like, a, like we saw in the first issue, where it's the double-page splash of all these different stories, of, uh, Punisher stories. Same thing. All these different screens have, like, different Punisher, you know, panels from different Punisher comics. And she's, like, freaking out, and it's the captions. When my husband stopped coming to the shooting range, when Frank Castle no longer wanted to shoot, I knew the end was near. I knew my husband was deeply depressed, that he was lost and empty, and that nothing would ever change because he wasn't being the man he was meant to be. And then it, you know, cuts to him running away from the team. He's at this point. He's just trying to get back to the yeah, temple. He's trying to get back to to Maria. He knows he's outmatched. And then there was the part of me that, for one moment, while watching him rage, had wanted him to become that person. Isn't the right word. The machine, that machine to retribution and blood drenched judgment. And it's just like her continuing to 
put this thing of like he still never loved me. Yeah. He just loved to kill. So we see the finally the the last moments of Maria saying, um, I want a divorce, but as she's saying, I want a div and then the guns go off and they you know, they kill her fam- mm-hmm. his family. He finally gets back to the temple. But once I, and then we finally see Maria standing there waiting for Frank, as you said, in the last, you know, before the final couple scenes is kind of incredible. So, but once I died that day in the park and found him, myself standing in the great beyond, and she's like, and all I saw before me was the beast, and it's a full page bash of her shooting Frank and. And saying pretty much like you, you, you did all the things that you did in the name of in the names of, of, of our, our children. children. Well, she's also seen all the fucking graves, so she knows that he's fucking had to kill their kids over and over again. You remember how he had to yeah. kill the the? But she says, "I saw, it, I saw it all. All hail the king of killers!" And she shoots him again. Yep. And then the final. Shot of this issue is them reached out like the Sistine Chapel with her full of bullet holes. The the first and him trying to yes yeah. the first the first the, fucking ep, uh, uh, issue of the series starts with that Ugh. with with those three uh, uh, word bubbles. Yeah, which and, and but it's but it's it's single. They constantly call back to that hot scene, horizontal panels it's with always, the fingers. Yeah, it's always a different perspective. And Frank's like screaming in the background. Whatever. It's all, it's the same dialogue each time, but a different perspective. I love that. I love that detail. Off panel, off job, with Jake and Tyler. 